Time Sproins, this is Borderlands 2, and I've just started the Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep DLC. So, um, for those that are somehow unaware, uh, this is the, the, the story behind this, or the general idea, is that the Vault Hunters are playing a tabletop RPG with Tiny Tina, and it's like the Pandoran equivalent of D&D. And she's the DM, so she'll uh, she'll kind of DM things like she just did there. Let's go ahead and uh, gun zerk. All right, so this could be kind of difficult, um, but we're here for a very specific reason, and that reason, of course, is the grog nozzle, as I mentioned in the last episode. Uh, it's just such a great weapon to kind of use with this uh, double penetrating unkempt herald that we got in the last episode so also slag these guys I guess that might help out um personally I've actually never uh, played this DLC all the way through usually I just stop by and get the grog nozzle but there's all kinds of really cool stuff that you can do here um but today we're not going to do any of that we are going to just go for the grog nozzle and then we can come back and do this later this is really meant as more in-game DLC, and even though we are in the in-game, I'd like to come back when we have even better weapons. Uh, so, yeah, there's not really a whole lot to say. I think I might just cut out most of this. Uh, the story, I mean, it's, it's kind of interesting, but it's nothing that we can't come back to later. Right, so, I'm going to play around a bit. It, it does take a little while to get to the part where you get the grog nozzle but the grog nozzle is a uh is a quest item so yeah we'll just enjoy this quest a little bit campaign with a boss fight players can't win hmm. Touché. okay everybody back up <laughs> I wanted to kill her. okay how about a new boss he's a skeleton and his name is mr. bony pan Oh, All right. right. The road to Flame Rock Refuge is open. You should go there. Go, go, go. All right. So Mr. Bony Pants guy didn't drop anything too great. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'm just gonna play through a little bit, and most likely I'll be back when we are ready to pick up the grog nozzle. Then we can really test uh, the combo out. Alright, thought I'd bring it back here for a little bit because we are about to do a boss battle and ammo shrine. What does this do? Oh, that's that's nice. Um, yeah, I remember this boss battle giving me trouble in the past, so we're gonna see. Hopefully I don't have to resort to any kind of glitching. Um, Yeah, the red dragon. Alright. Let me see. It can get slagged. That's good. Now we just need it to... Okay, so this isn't going to be difficult. I think it has other forms, though. So once we defeat, like, the red dragon form... Yeah. Um... Although... I don't remember exactly. Whoa! And he is a little bit uh, slippery, I guess. I'm gonna wait for my Gunzerk to proc again before we can really do some damage. And there we go. Alright, now we'll try to. 
see if we can slag him. There we go. And then let's wait until we get a good guaranteed shot. If he would stay still. Or if I would actually... Alright, slag him again. There we go. Is that it? That was easier than I remembered. Oh, okay, there's one more. Ancient Green Dragon. Alright, so... Yeah, I thought this was going to be more difficult than it was, but... Might as well just show you uh, finishing this off. Let me... Go Gunzerk again. Or I might as well wait until this guy's ready to fight. I hope he's not glitching like out. Alright, come on back down there. There's no reason for you to go up that high. It's oh, close enough. only I wasn't stuck reloading right there. Well Alright, that was a good shot. And this should be it. Alright. And it doesn't look like they dropped anything. So yeah, and I think there's one more boss battle before we get the Grog Nozzle. So I'll also bring you back uh, when we're ready for that one. Okay, uh, let's do this. This should be the, uh, the second boss battle. It's like a four-way kind of deal. I don't remember exactly, but I know there's lots of other enemies running around, and there's like four bosses, four different bosses that you gotta fight. Again, I remember having some trouble with it, but it could just be from back in the day before I knew of good guns. So, I'm pretty sure you have to take these guys out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna need... Yeah, and then you uh, have to shoot their heads. And if you don't kill their heads in time, I think they go back to their bodies and you have to kill the bodies again. I think it's how that one works. So, we're just gonna go ahead and try to take his head out before... Alright, good. Oh, these guys are pretty interesting. You have to... Let's see. You have to take them out. Yeah, you can't really kill them. You have to pull the, uh, the blade out. And I don't think there's a way to do that when you're down. So staying alive is going to be kind of difficult if I have to keep uh, going down. But I think because I've defeated the first boss, I think he's done forever. And he's not going to respawn even though I died. Uh, so that's pretty helpful. So his name was King Ash. If we go up here and see another dude named King Ash, that would be bad. Maybe I should take these guys out, or I don't know. If it's possible to just really quickly kill the bosses instead, that's what I'd like to do. Alright, so this is the second. Alright. And then, where's the third? Looks like over here. And we'll get him. King Seth. Really gotta be careful from the, uh, the ads. Alright, so that ad did not uh, get me back up, but this guy should. He doesn't look like he's the one you gotta pull the uh, sword out of his back. That would be these guys, but let's take this head out. Need to... Did I get it? I think I got it. And here's another guy. See this? We are not gonna be losing health as much once we get the grog nozzle. That's why I want to get it. Uh, so we don't have to continue dealing with 
let's go ahead and take care of these guys. So this guy, and we pull the sword out, so now he's dead permanently, for real. Alright, pull that one out. And there's one more king. And we'll try to keep that other skeleton around. So I can get a, a revive. Alright, so his head's going to come off. And done. Uh, okay, and we don't have to finish cleaning up everyone else. Alright, so we are ready to grab the grog nozzle. I thought I would uh, show this, this next part with Claptrap. It's pretty amusing. So. We talk to him. With words. I don't know oh, what y'all looking no. at. Me. Another band of adventurers looking to take down the sorcerer. Look, you won't make it. You either die or be enslaved. And I can't in good conscience let you continue in your full hearted quest. You shall not pass. Hey! You're talking to me! Well, damn! Now how do we get out of here? You know, that wizard may know something about dwarven door locking magic. No way! That's like my third favorite type of magic! Look, you're gonna need the secret dwarven passphrase to open the door. Go find some weird runes scattered around the mines. I, I bet those are the letters making up the passphrase. So if you'll find the letters, you can probably get out of here. In fact, I found one just the other day. But you can't have this one. You can find your own. I love this thing. Hey! Aww. All right. That looks like the symbol for the letter T. One letter down. Um. Is it this mission? I think. Yes, that was the mission. So we now have the grog nozzle. gonna get attacked. Frog Golem. Let's just take him out real quick. I guess we could have used our new... Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and equip this. And the cool thing about this is uh, it regions... Let's see. I think it's something like 65% uh, damage is converted into health. So yeah, and it's lag chance, and all right, so that's pretty much the only thing that uh, we need to do here. Um, so I guess I'm going to go ahead and head back to the boring old overworld, and I'll probably do some respecking, spec into something that's a little bit better suited for this combo. So yeah, that's pretty much GG. Uh, so now the game's going to be in uh, I don't quite want to say easy mode just yet but yeah it's gonna be pretty awesome